Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 10. When we last left off, we explored level 9 and got a few upgrades. With that said, let's see what level 10 has in store for us. Welcome to the beginning of the end. What is this strange place? And we encounter a new enemy, some leprechauns. And these leprechauns are not messing around. I believe they get about four attacks each. Just look at how many attacks they get before I get an attack. Look at the snake at the end of their staff. Who the hell do these leprechauns think they are? Moses? Mashing the A button doesn't work on these guys because they get so many attacks. All you're going to do is wear out your thumb. Even when there's only two of these guys, it seems like they get a shitload of attacks. And finally, we defeated the damn leprechauns. What now? Okay, two blue snakes. These guys are pretty easy. Claire is awarded the mage staff for kicking so much ass. That's not an upgrade, by the way. Let's pass through this wall and see what's on the other side. Nothing in here. Now let's pass through the south wall. And once again, nothing in here. Now let's pass through the south wall again. And what do we have here? A blood-stained phantom. Now you must die. Psychedelic dead. At the heart of the forge you find. At the heart of the forge you find. At the heart of the forge you find. You have found the fire shield. Jay is holding it. Jay won't be holding it long, because that's an upgrade for Jack. Now let's pass through this wall and see what we can find. You see those little black squares that are uncovered? I'm not going to be going in those rooms. All they are is a bunch of monsters in there, and they take a while to defeat. At this point, I'm just filling out a little bit of the map. Oh no, five leprechauns? Four was hard enough to defeat. I don't want any part of this battle. I'm going to run. Look how long it takes before it's my turn. This is ridiculous. Cowards. If I run into five or six of any monsters besides the blue snakes, I'm probably going to be running from them. Look what we have here! Five blue snakes! Bye bye, snakies! Yes!
One step and four more snakes. That's ridiculous. Come on, give me a few steps before I run into monsters. I'm whooping that ass fast. Oh, how wonderful. This level has zombies. Get the hell up, Jay. Give me your brains. No, zombies. You shut the hell up and take a dirt nap. My shit, you would definitely die. That is the last thing I want to do, zombie, is eat zombie shit. That's disgusting. Don't knock it unless you try it. You never know, you might like it. I can guarantee you, zombie, that I would not enjoy zombie shit. It's a delicacy in France. I don't doubt that. The French people are kind of weird. It's been nice talking to you, zombie, but it's time to go. Jay is awarded the Blood Dagger for kicking so much ass. And that will be an upgrade for Jack. Come get you some, Gangsta Goblins. Psychedelic dead. Oh shit, six phantoms. I'm running. Cowards. Alright, we filled out the rest of the hallway. Let's head back. Uh-oh, four leprechauns. This is going to be a tough battle. Me watch me lucky charms! Go find your lucky charms somewhere else. You can't have mine. They're magically delicious. Me watch me gold then! You can't have my gold either. Anyway, aren't you the one with the pot of gold? Those damn gangster goblins stole me pot of gold! Well, they are gangster goblins for a reason. I dread battles with these leprechauns. They just drag on forever. Finally! Jack is awarded the plate for kicking so much ass. That is not an upgrade. Now let's head back into the main room. Whoa, oh, six phantoms? Um, I'm gonna run. Cowards. Now let's pass through this wall. Okay, nothing in here. Now let's pass through the wall to the west. You're on fire! Oh shit, that can't be good. Nothing in here, so let's pass through the wall to the west. In the fires of the forge, you find... You found a fire sword. Jay is holding it. And that will be an upgrade for Jay. Now let's pass through this wall. Nothing in here. Now let's pass through the wall to the north. And this was one of those little rooms I was telling you about earlier. All they have in them is enemies. At least it was only snakes. These are one of the easiest enemies on this level.
Jay is awarded the Blood Dagger for kicking so much ass. That will be an upgrade for Jack. You can't step to this, gangsta goblins. Bring it. Oh, really? One step and I'll run into enemies? Oh, shit. Six phantoms. I'm gonna run. Peace out, phantoms. Cowards. Back and forth. Forth and back. Back. Forth. Forth? Back. Teleporter activated! That teleporter just teleports us a little to the north. Do you really want some gangsta goblin? Come get some. That was just a few snakes. Nothing in here. Two blue snakes. This is going to be a walk in the park. Welcome to the temple. The monks will tend to your wounds. And I believe this is the last temple in this game, so I'm going to be using this temple a lot. That was just a couple phantoms. Here we go again. Every step I gotta run into a monster. At least it's only one gangsta goblin. That was easy. The great sword has hidden jewels in its hilt. Asshole. No brains for you, zombie. Come on, I asked nicely. No, you didn't. You called me an asshole. You are an asshole. You keep killing us. Well, if killing zombies makes me an asshole, then I'll own that title. See you later, zombies. Let's see what's on the other side of this wall. Nothing. Okay, moving on. That was just a couple goblins. Let's see what's in here. Welcome to the armory. Anyone wishing to shop here should press A. Well, let's see what he's got. No thanks. Not interested. Nah. Next. No. Uh, I got better. Oh, God. No. 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 Nothing. This place don't got shit. Well, that was a waste of time. Here's the stairs down to level 11, but let's not take them just yet. Uh-oh, four phantoms. These phantoms are pretty tough, but I'm not sure how many attacks they get. I don't think they get as many as the leprechauns.
There we go. Killed two of them really quick. And down goes the Phantoms. That was just a couple Leprechauns, but I did get an upgrade from Merle, the Spell Staff. Nothing in here. That was just six Leprechauns I ran from. Let's see what's in here. A Phantom. Super fast ass whooping. Jeez, where did the mage staff for kicking so much ass? Return when you have all the ruby treasures. Look out, five zombies. I think I'm gonna run. Cowards. That was just some snakes. That was just some phantoms. And here we got some more phantoms. And here's another set of stairs to level 11. Zoom tube inside. That was just some goblins. And this zoom tube will take you to level 9, so let's not take it. Oh shit, it's five leprechauns. I'm getting sick of these guys. I'm gonna kick their ass. Uh-oh, Jay's getting low on health. Okay, is it ever going to be my turn? Finally. See how frustrating it is to fight these leprechauns? I've been fighting them for almost a minute now and I haven't even put a dent in their health. That took me almost two minutes to kill the first leprechaun. It's about time we killed another one. This battle is taking way too long.
About damn time we killed him. Shit. For bravery and valor, your party is promoted to experience level 14. Now let's head towards the stairs. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES Part 10. I want to thank you again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 11.